We are back. Can we improve on our finish from last season? Well, I guess we're going to find out as Tony Stark and ETSU rolls in to season two, the sophomore effort. And we'll look real quick. First of all, I'll just take it to the results that we've had in the preseason. Um, I took the option of having a two team. I'm not really sure. I've never done that before, so I don't know much about it. I just figured it'd be a good place to put the guys that I know are not going to be able to play uh, because they won't be able to be registered because of age restrictions. Um, also, maybe fringe players that are not really good enough to be in the 30. Um, so I have that, and then I played a friendly against them. Obviously, they're 1-2-0. to zero. I, You can see the results mostly went pretty well. Um, the one draw we had was against USC Asheville, and I'm pretty sure that was, yeah, that was the second team, and they played the whole match. So um, really the fact they were able to get a 1-1 draw, I guess credit to them for that. But then um, rebounded with wins against Nashville and Lansing, and now we're going to be taking on Bryant, and um, we'll look at that. But real quick, let's look at our squad. So a lot of guys come back. Uh, I do, starting from the back. Uh, Santangelo and Gordon, two of the most important players that from last season, return, and they will return in their starting role as we move toward the front. Uh, I do also return a couple of guys uh, that were a big part of the attack, especially at the end of the year, Zion Jones and Alberto Padone. So... Those are big uh, guys coming back from last season, uh, important um, players there. And then I do have a few guys who I are who starters that I had last season that are now not good enough to be in the starting 11. Um, if you look at Iloski was one of the starting center backs from last year. Uh, Raul Rodriguez, right back, uh, he is now on the second 11. Um, Eder, uh, Eder Lira was a midfielder. He started as my number eight. He is now on the bench. Um, Alec <clears throat> spent a lot of the season at the number 10 spot. Um, so all those guys are back, but they have kind of been moved to a secondary role because I have brought in some pretty new, exciting players. Some of these are guys who were transferred in. Uh, I think we when transferred in. Yeah, tra he transferred from Furman. Uh, and then some, like Florian, well, Florian Walter was another transfer. That's right. Um, but he's Ayer, I'm not sure I pronounced this name, so I'm just going to go with Ayeron. Um, I might just call him Ron. So uh, Ron was another, uh, he was a transfer from last year, but too young to play. Dixon uh, was another transfer from last year, but too young to play. Swinehart was uh, a recruit that I brought in from one of the academies. Um, I think I had him last year. Yeah, he was on the, he, well, I may have just brought him, I just now brought him in. Either way, um, some of these guys are new recruits that are now coming they're ready to, to act. They're old enough now to fit the um, uh, to actually make the registration rules. <clears throat> and then I've got Zakuani, who is a center back. Uh, he's another transfer. Um, very excited about him, as you can see. Very good tackler. Positioning needs to get better, obviously, and he could get stronger. But um, hopefully, he'll be a good ball winner for us in the back. So, uh, and real quick, just looking at. Um, some changes that I've had to I did well I didn't have to make but I, I I changed a little bit tactically so instead of that four oh wait I think the game called it four one four one wide whatever the uh, four three three it's still four three three but I've moved the fullbacks up into the wingback strata um, kind of wanted to do this I've done it before in the past and it does help getting guys forward and this season I just from the looks of my schedule I really believe that most of the teams are going to kind of pack it in against me and so I want to be able to get guys forward a little quicker looking at our schedule again same as last season we'll play most of our non-conference games before we start the Southern Conference play and our first opponent will be Furman Furman uh, Furman finished <clears throat> um, the season as the second place team in the conference, and then we beat them in the final. So they are our big competitors for the Southern Conference Championship. And yeah, there's really, it's really, I really kind of lucked out with the non conference draw. So I play Wisconsin, and that probably is the best team uh, in my non conference schedule. But even they're not like an overly impressive team. They have one national championship, but that was in 1995. So um, I feel like, you know, our schedule uh, is going to be against a lot of teams who are going to kind of sit back. And um, so that was a big kind of reason for our tactical change. And so without anything else, let's 
see how we do against Bryant. Kind of nervous about this, really. Um, have had some injury situations. Like I told you last year, I really got lucky on injuries last year. I didn't have many, you know, a little one, two-day stuff every now and then. But uh, Baron, who was my number six last year, um, my defensive, my holding midfielder, he got an eight-month injury. So he now, luckily, it was back in I think March. Um, so I don't know. He he may not make it back. I see. I think he still has three months of recovery. Six months, six weeks to three months. So he, I don't know if he'll be back for this season. Um, but I did bring in a player who is a little better, and Baron would have been the backup anyway, behind Florian Walter. So here we go. I can already tell you, we have a little loads of the ball already. The one uh, one issue we're going to have is how far my fullbacks are now from the center backs. I may end up having to, to scrap that idea. All right, Walter swings it to Goez, to Dixon. Goez is another player I've, I've wanted to play. I wanted to play all last season. He's my number 10 now. Or no, I guess he would have been my number ten, but now he's playing as my number eight. And we got a yellow card, and Bryant got a shot. Ooh, Swinehart skins the fullback there and gets a shot, but it is saved. I didn't even look at Bryant's preseason. So I'm not sure what their fitness situation would be. Both my wingers get yellow cards. Man, now my defensive midfielder gets a yellow card. So this is really not going very well. We are away. Holds it up. You gotta get rid of it, man. Can't get. Huh. And my fullback gets toasted. We are just not playing well. I'm just gonna demand more here before we go into the half. Ooh, shot goes just over. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna tell them they're unlucky. I'm not ready to say I'm pleased with how they're doing because I am not pleased. Let's try, let's try. I'm gonna go back. I knew this was possibly gonna happen. So I'm gonna go back to the standard 4-3-3. I mean, we are outplaying them, just not by as much as I would like to. And Gordon, that's it. I'm really aggravated at all the yellow cards, so I'm just I'm taking out everybody with a yellow. Ah, I stink. No, that was right. Okay, sorry. I am uh, I'm just all out of sorts right now because I am very angry. I'm going to try to keep my composure. Maybe the fresh legs will help too. Oh my goodness. All right, Padone. Oh, we have a goal. All right. Finally, we scrape something together. <laughs> Decent little play there is Grijala, Grijalva. That's what I'm going to go with. Grijalva. Padone here takes it in, gives a nice little cross. Then Grijalva heads in. 
And it makes me look like a genius because I literally just subbed him into the game. And he is just on side there, I guess. Alright. And my other center back got a yellow card. So you're off. And I'm going to bring in this Steve Perry kid. He's another recruit that I feel pretty good about. Perry lays it back for Dixon to Chavez. Chavez back to the keeper. They are coming at us a little more, so I'm going to go balanced. I'm also going to, sorry, be more expressive. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I just need to be a little more creative. Whenever I lower my mentality, I usually put it on, on uh, oh, shot in. Nice. Evans with a goal. We're up to that should that should put this thing away. Evans gives it to Goez and he goes right back to Evans who just puts a nice foot on it. Lots of guile as our British friends would say. Okay, now start looking at guys who are tired. Yeah, I'll sub out my midfielders there. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and... I do have a player that I can bring in just in case. Okay. So they're going really attacking. So I'm going to go defensive and pass into space. <clears throat> the idea there is I'm dropping further back. So hopefully there'll be more space forward. And they have a corner. Let's get that out. There we go. Perry, now we got a counter. Oh, you got a guy to the left. Cross it. There we go to Evans, who slots it home. <laughs> nice. That is textbook counterattacking football off a corner. Perry brings it down to the right. I've got guys running... Both middle, we're framing out the goal pretty well. We go far post to Evans, who beats the keeper. And this is about the score I would have expected. I would like to have gotten these goals earlier in the match, but we'll take it. And Bryant's still choosing to come after me. Ooh, shot goes wide. And that'll do it. So, three to nothing. Um... Yeah, I'm sort of pleased. Might end up not doing that whole uh, fullbacks and the wingback strata experiment. I'm not ready to give up on it yet, but that did not go well for at first. Probably gonna have to look at that. Um, yeah, the big. I think it's just gonna be that they're when our my center backs have the ball, they're just too far away, uh, and I don't I don't think that that's gonna that's gonna work for us. So. Uh, just trying to get find ways to get those guys a little more involved in the attack. I may look at their duty, but again, uh, still afraid that they'll get a little too far up. So, um, so and uh, I, well, uh, as you can see, I do the save game thing after matches. I had a um, during the preseason, I had one of those fun situations where I'm in a game playing. There's a penalty called, and then all the guys are just running in place forever. So I had to bail and then uh, load up, but I hadn't saved it in like a month, so I had to go back and... So that was fun. Luckily, I hadn't made any transfers or anything, so I didn't lose any of that, but it was still frustrating to have to do all that crap again. So, all right, Uncle Sam FM here, and uh, I guess I'm going to sign off there. Um, Results-wise, good way to start the season, but we still have a long way to go to get where we want to get, I think, which is uh, playing well enough to win the national championship. So I will see you in the next episode.